Oder? Oder? The eyes to the right, 415. The nose to the left, 190. Thank you. Order. The eyes to the right, 415. The nose to the left, 119. So the eyes have it. The eyes have it. Unlock. Point of order, Mr. Speaker. Uh, point of order, Justine Greening. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Even though this was a monumentally important vote, the House has had but less than four hours in practice, just over three hours for backbenchers to make contributions this evening. Is that acceptable, given how important the vote was? The determination of time available is not a matter for the chair. The Right Honourable Lady has expressed her own view in characteristically succinct terms, leaving us in no doubt as to her dissatisfaction. All I would say to her and to other members on whichever side of the argument who feel similarly is that I have a sense that there will be a great many more debates on this important matter in which we will hear from the Right Honourable Lady and from others similarly aggrieved this evening. I hope that's helpful to the Right Honourable Lady. A point of order, Mr Christian Mathis. Mr Speaker, have you had any indication from the uh, Foreign Secretary whether he'll be back in time for Foreign Office questions tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, surprise, the Right Honourable Gentleman has not communicated with me today, and I feel sure he has other pressing matters on his agenda. I have received no notification that he will not be present and correct for Foreign Office questions, and therefore I feel sure that he will be. And I anticipate that the Honourable Gentleman will look forward to those exchanges with eager anticipation and bated breath.